In this section, we're going to look at the rear anchor on top, basic transferring from the face on view. Step 1, we get set up an address using our rear anchor procedures and our on top alignments. Step 2, make a takeaway by pulling the right elbow back behind the seam line of the shirt. Step 3, keep everything connected together and rotate rear anchor in the backswing. It feels like everything goes around level, but it's actually level to the spine angle. In step 4, we fold the right arm up to the top of the backswing. Step 5, we reconnect the arm in the downswing, keeping the, the right elbow behind the seam line of the shirt. Step 6, we're going to move into the delivery position. At delivery, we want to make sure that the shaft of the club is at parallel to where it's going to be at the full extension. For an on-top golfer, that's much more vertical than it is for either side-on or under golfers. We also want to make sure that we've loaded more ground force so that we'll be ready to launch those ground forces later in the swing. Step 7, we move through to the full extension. At this point, we want to make sure the club's pointed downward towards the ball line a few feet past impact. We also want to have the feeling that we've extended upward with our body, releasing our postural angel angles and launching our vertical ground forces. Step 8, we rotate left, releasing our postural angles and exiting around to the left with our arms and club. Notice how the left elbow is back behind the seam line of the shirt on the left side. That elbow back move matches the elbow back move that you performed during the takeaway. You also want to have the feeling that your right shoulder is higher than your left shoulder at this point. Step 9. Follow through up over your left shoulder for the full follow through. Step 10. Recoil the arms and club in front of your body for the full finish position. Let's recap. Step 1. Rear anchor on top address position. Step 2. Take away with the right elbow behind the seam line of the shirt. Step 3. Everything turns together in a connected manner. Step 4. Fold up to the top of the backswing. Step 5. Reconnect. Step 6. Delivery. Step 7, through to the full extension. Step 8, corners and exits left. Step 9, full follow through. And step 10, full finish. Now let's take a look at the rear anchor on top basic training swing from the down the line view. Step 1 is to proceed to our address position using the rear anchor procedure and the on top alignments. Our next move is to make a takeaway by moving the right elbow back behind the seam line of the shirt in the takeaway. Step 3, we rotate into the backswing. Our arms, hands, and club feel like they move around level. In reality, they move around level to the spine angle. Step 4, we're going to fold the right arm up to the top of the backswing. Step 5, we reconnect the right arm during the downswing, keeping the right elbow behind the seam line of the shirt. In step 6, we're going to move into our delivery position. As we do that, we're going to load our ground forces, and we're going to position the club for delivery. Step 7, we move through the delivery action into our full extension. As we do that, we launch our ground forces upward and extend down towards the ball line. Step 8, we're going to exit left, rotating left, leveling out our posture and feeling the left elbow move behind the seam line of the shirt, matching the elbow back move in the takeaway. Step 9, full fall through folding the arms over the shoulder. And Step 10, we're going to recoil the arms back in front of our body for the full finish. Let's recap. Step 1, set up position with your rear anchor and on top alignments. Step 2, we're going to move the right elbow back behind the seam line of the shirt for the takeaway. Step 3, turn in the backswing. Step 4, fold to the top. Step 5, reconnect in the downswing. Step 6, delivery. Step 7, move to the full extension. Step 8, rotate left. Step 9, full follow through. Step 10, finish. finish.